So the question to which everybody wants an answer is uh, how much tax am I going to pay? And uh, really, again, the answer is it depends. It depends on an awful lot of things. And we'll know exactly to the penny how much tax you'll have to pay as soon as we've uh, completed your accounts. But there are ways of estimating roughly how much tax you're going to, to incur. And these are different dependent on whether you operate as a sole trader or as a limited company. So let's look at sole traders first of all. So I suppose at this point I should say that we're recording now in April 2018. So the, the, the broad brush of the numbers I'm going to talk about is relevant now and may be subject to change in future years as thresholds for income tax and national insurance contributions do tend to change slightly each year. So as we are currently, your tax on the amount of profit you make as a sole trader not the amount of money you draw from your business, but the amount of profit you make. So for all profit you make above approximately £6,000, you will have to pay Class 2 national insurance contributions. Now Class 2 national insurance contributions effectively is a stamp that goes towards your, um, your, your old age pension, your state pension, as well as um, a contribution towards the NHS and so on. Then the next threshold is uh, just under eight and a half thousand pounds, eight four two four, I think it is at the moment. And once you're earning profits above that level, you'll pay nine percent class four national insurance contributions. That's just another tax. You don't get any benefit from it. It's just a tax you have to pay. That um, that takes us up to currently eleven thousand eight hundred and fifty, which is the new income tax threshold. So any profit above that you'll pay 20% income tax on. So it soon starts to add up. So how do you go about estimating your profit as a sole trader? Well firstly remember that as a sole trader you're taxed on your total profit not just the drawings you take from your business. So your total profit essentially are your sales take away your expenses and what's left is your profit. Now leaving class 2 national insurance contributions aside because the the total tax there is just over 150 pounds per year if you're at the maximum so let's let's leave that aside and, and factor that in aside from that you can consider that the first 700 pounds that you make of profit every single month is tax-free so if you have 700 pounds a month tax-free thereafter we'd suggest that you put a third of your profit aside for your tax bill at the year end. So that's two thirds for you and one third for the government, over 700 pounds of profit. And you might want to do something with this third that you're putting away for your tax bill. Pop it in the savings account, although you're not getting much interest these days, or you might want to pop it in a cash ISA or something until the tax is due at the end of January. But do take financial advice um, if, you, if you want to do something like that. Do please be mindful of payments on account. This can catch people unawares. So if your tax bill is greater than a thousand pounds for the year, HMRC will request that you pay the next year's upfront. So that will mean 50% of the liability again on the 31st of January and by the 31st of July for the following year's tax bill. So how do you pay tax if you're a limited company? Well, it's important to remember that a limited company doesn't have any tax-free amount. So a limited company currently pays tax on all of its profits and the corporation tax rate is set at 19% at present. Um, hopefully that's set to fall over the next few years to 17%, but it's currently 19%. So as a limited company, you've got nine months after the company's year end uh, before the corporation tax is due for payment. But you can, of course, estimate what your corporation tax bill is likely to be throughout the year. So what we'd suggest you do is look at um, a rough profit estimate. So that's your sales less your costs. And those costs uh, do include salaries, remember. So if you've got sales less costs, that gives you your um, profit. And of that profit, we'd suggest to stay on the safe side that you put 25% aside for your corporation tax bill at the year end. So that's a quarter for the government, 75% for you. And it's this three quarters that's left is what's available for you to, to distribute as a dividend. Um, 
and we do see companies get in trouble here because they forget that the tax has to be paid before a dividend can be distributed. So make sure you've set that 25% aside and um, that can cover your tax bill. After that you can draw a dividend with the remaining profit.